Hey guys, what's up? It's Sasson here today with an unboxing of the new XV88 broadside battle suit, um, which came out with the new Tower Codex update in 2013. I'm not really going to go into any of the stats on anything on this. Uh, basically, it is the exact same model uh, in terms of stats, but it's completely uh, different in terms of uh, how you build it and stuff. As you can see, it's basically uh, two-handed. Um, with the rail rifle, you've got these little new drones with the missile systems, new heads, new torso, pretty much everything's new on it. And sure as hell beats the old uh, half and half metal and plastic box set, which is basically a crisis battle suit with two broadsides, cannons, and two capacitors. Oh, there we go. And let's open this up. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Um, it's pretty much giving you a, a Dreadnought base with this one. Um, basically, in the old broadsides, um, what you used to do is use the Crisis Battle Suit, and it would make it very hard to pose the model uh, in a way that looked fitting. It was basically just one solid piece and looked kind of disturbing just standing there. So this sprue here, it comes in two sprues. Um, one sprue basically looks like the body and the legs and all that. Whereas this one here seems to be the weapon sprue. As you can see, basically we've got the rail rifle, uh, twin link rail rifle I should say, sorry, in two pieces. We've got a little bunch of extra pieces. I'm guessing these are the support systems. You then have the two plasma rifles. Um, strange, where's the fusion blasters? Hmm. Wait, sorry, that's a rip time, but it has fusion blasters. Then you've got these uh, high yield missile pods. Um, I won't be using these, but basically they're missile spammy type of things. Hmm. Interesting. Sorry, I was just looking at the sprue. I actually haven't opened this one up before and looked at it. Um, you also get the smart missile system pods um, for the gun drones and stuff. You do have a lot more options in heads, though. You have these little uh, faceplate attachments for the heads and then the main piece there. Or you have access to just this uh, one top piece here. Oh, it looks like you got some more attachments for the heads here. So they've looked like they've actually uh, put a lot more effort into making the tower uh, look a little bit more robust instead of all being like the same look. Um, so that there is the basically the weapon sprue. And here is the body sprue. The legs look more like they actually like uh, can withstand that, um, the heavy weight. They, they look more reinforced. Um, everything looks a lot more chunky on this model purely because of the fact that it has to bear so much like firepower. And then you have like the torso pieces all along here, the shoulder pads, the main torso, legs, more legs, the knee pads. Um, I haven't assembled one of these models yet, so pretty much everything I say at this point is speculation. Except for the fact that I know that there, there is a charger for a rail rifle. I'm guessing that there is like some kind of target lock, perhaps. Hmm. In all, um, a very interesting kit. Um, for once, I might actually have to look at the uh, guide for it. So here is the higher yield missile pod um, one, and here is the rail rifle or plasma rifle one. Anyway, guys, that's the uh, kit for the uh, broadside. I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. Um, don't forget to check out the rest of my videos, including my gaming videos, and always don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And until then, I look forward to hearing from you. See you later, guys.